Hey YouTubers, and look what we got, some more eggs. Now these guys uh, kind of surprised me. I uh, really wasn't ready for them because I was preparing for something else that just came in about a half hour ago. So I don't know if any of these are viable. Uh, I just saw them in on the slate in there with the parents and I noticed that everything in the tank was going after them. So I yanked them out and I put them in the jar over here. And rinsed them off into the jar so we'll have to wait and see uh, I don't think any of the eggs I don't even know that they were fertilized I think they're all gonna go bad but we'll wait and see at any rate um, as I said I was preparing for something else this is the last five actually six angelfish um, out of that last brood uh, where most of them were sold at the uh, fish show this past Sunday. Um, these are already spoken for. Uh, I had shipped five a little bit too early and uh, they got caught up in the cold and uh, didn't quite make it. So these are already owned by somebody up in New Jersey and uh, I just uh, sent him an email asking when he'd like to try again on the shipping. Looks like this weekend might be a good possibility. So um, at any rate these were the last five in the 20 gallon tall and they got moved out down here to the uh, to this 10 gallon since there's only well six of them. I figure they can hang in the 10 gallon until we get them shipped and um, now of course we're occupying with some eggs but we'll see if any of these eggs are viable and whether they're going to hatch or not i don't think they are i think they're all i think they're unfertilized but that's what's going on there um, they are down there and have been moved out of the 20 gallon tall because the fish in this tank were moved out and they were born on the first let's see the 6th of January so they're only a little over a month well a month and a month and a quarter something like that old now but I had to free this tank up for the two fish that just came in today which are these guys and I don't know how much we'll pick up on this video but these are Philippine Blues. And I don't know, they're probably too young to really be showing the colors yet, but uh, uh, I met this girl, the breeder, at the uh, cat show, our Carolina Aquatics Trade Show last weekend and she's down in Charleston South Carolina and she had mentioned to me that she had some Philippine blues that had bred and had some babies and she was very interested in my koi angels that I had for sale so I sold her a couple of my fish and she said she'd be in touch with me to let me know when these guys were ready to go she called me this week and she said I think they're about ready so I got on the bandwagon real quick and uh, and got these guys so I have a feeling these are gonna be just stunning fish when they grow out 
Um, the other thing I got at the show, and I don't know if I've shown these in any of the videos, was uh, some new Pistos. Um, I got two different flavors actually. Uh, let's see if I can zoom in on this guy. Two different flavors. Um, well. Come on, show us your broadside. Um, got some females, uh, and I'm supposed to have, uh, there's an orange flash back there. Here he comes, as you can see. Ah, there he is. This guy right here is a triple. Now, they, they're just little guys right now, and they eventually will be separated. I'm going to separate out the orange flash from male and the, and the, uh, and the triple red male and the females but uh, but anyway I'm hoping to have hopefully if the gods are generous a uh, breeding pair of uh, orange flash and a breeding pair of triple reds coming down the road here it'll be probably next fall before we see any kind of breeding going on because they're just toddlers at this point but yeah um, so hopefully we're gonna have uh, we're gonna have the angels down here which I'll have uh, I still got the breeding pair in there and we'll have some orange flash and triple reds hopefully and uh, these two, which I guess they found a hiding spot down in there somewhere. Yeah, I think they're down in there. You can see them back down in there. Um, these two are really just for show. I'm going to put them in the 55 as soon as I grow them out large enough to, to get them in there with the other uh, koi angels that are in there now. Um, these guys are going to be predominantly for show. Now, if they should turn out to be a breeding pair, if, uh, the the girl told me that she would try to, you know, she said, you know, it's very, very hard, you know, well, angels are hard to sex even when they're full grown. But she said, I'll do what I can, you know, and just maybe, maybe you get lucky and I'll get a, you know, a male and a female and they turn out to be a breeding pair. Not looking for that, but, you know, hey, that would be just a definite bonus if they did. Otherwise, they're just, they'll be just fine as uh, just uh, two, two fish in the tank to look at. <laughs> so, that's uh, as far as the breeding project going. That's uh, what's going on there. Um, take you over here to the 55. Uh, let me get this thing off the macro. Can I get it off the macro? Um... zoom out okay so here's what the 55 is looking like now um, after that massive trimming I did as you can see everything is growing mushly and just loving it um, I uh, just you can see the the waterway cut there I just cleaned out my fluval and uh, <laughs> Man, was it dirty because the you can see how much the water is flowing right now. It's actually parted the uh, Ludwigia ripens there and uh, it stirred up the uh, red root floaters so much you can see them all stuck down in the Cuba and there. So I'm going to have to go down in there and weed them back out and uh, see that uh, that's the original, original sword. If you want to go way back to the beginning of when I started uh, doing videos, I had uh, pretty much phony plants, and then I brought in two sword plants, and this is one of the original swords, way back when, and I finally you know, uncovered it from all that pennywort and uh, red root floaters and everything. I thought I'd give it its day in the sun again. 
But uh, yeah, everything's looking good in here. Good and healthy. So that's what the 55 is doing now. And we'll real quick over here to the uh, the 40 breeder. And uh, there's dad out front and mom in the back. I think they're still pissed at me from taking for taking their eggs. He was giving me the eye last night when I laid down in the bed. My bed's right over here next to. He was uh, right here, right where he is now, except facing my bed. And he was really giving me the eye. I think he knew I took the, the slate out and rinsed it. So, not a happy bird. But uh, yeah, everything's doing well in here. Uh, everything's growing well. As you can see, it's filling back in real lushly. And then down here to the 20. Uh, still working on this one. Um, I think what I'm going to do, and this is uh, preliminary, but I think what I'm going to end up doing as those uh, epistos start to grow out, if I see any grow, uh, pairing up, definite pairing up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean this tank out. I'm going to take about, oh, at least half of that uh, java fern out, thin it down to about half, and uh, if you can look real closely. Yeah, there's one of them right there. That's one of the old, the old timers. There he is right there. Um, he's in there with, uh, I think, two or three other males that are throughout the tank. Um, I'm not sure where they're at, they're hiding. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to take him and the other males and uh, I've got uh, a friend of mine who's got a big, uh, I think it's a 150 gallon or maybe a 225, 220, something like that. Big, 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 big tank. It's one of those like six foot or eight foot long tanks that, uh, you know, t that occupies a whole wall. <laughs> Um, I'm going to get with him and he's going to take these uh, male, these fully grown male epistos off my hands. So I'm going to free up this tank, clean it up. Uh, this was the original breeding tank where it all started. So I'm going to free it up, clean it up, and if I see a good breeding pair out of the two epistos, uh, the two groups of epistos, that uh, that I'm working with right now, uh, the breeding group or the breeder, the breeders will go down in this tank. So that's my preliminary plan. We'll have to see how things go. As we know, things can change. Uh, I think there's another one down here. Yeah. There's another one of the males right there probably hungry. Um, there's probably another one back down and through there. At any rate, so one last look, there's the 20. And here's the 40. And over here we go into the 55. As you can see, I got the perfect seat right here. I'm gonna just swivel around after a hard day at work. All my tanks, all my big show tanks are right here, here, and here. And my breeders are right there and there. And then I got my TV up there. And uh, oh yeah, got some prints. Um, Prints. That one needs frame. And definitely want to get into. Uh, there is the focus. Uh, definitely want to get into uh, getting some rams and uh, doing a breeding project with them. That'll probably come. Well, probably around summertime. I'm hoping to get uh, a couple more tanks set up and get some rams breeding out 
that would be nice. Um, we got, uh, um, oh, what's his name? Uh, up in New Jersey. He's been uh, trying to breed ranch for quite a while now. I can't think of it. I'll, I'll leave his, uh, his channel down in the description below. But uh, uh, yeah, definitely if you haven't uh, seen this guy, go, go to his channel, check him out. But uh, he's been trying unsuccessfully to breed uh, rams and some discus and uh, some angels for quite a while now. Um, he's at a kind of a shoehorned into a small L-shaped uh, basement up in New Jersey. Got very little room. That's his man cave. And he is utilizing every square centimeter of that, uh, that space for fish tanks. And uh, he's... Uh, He's a great guy. Um, I shipped him uh, a couple of pistos back in, oh, about a year or so ago and that he was going to try to breed too and uh, and had the best luck with the breeding yet but uh, he refuses to give up and uh, I wish him all the best luck but uh, yeah I'll leave his uh, leave his uh, uh, link down in the uh, description below anyways I had a few minutes here after I uh, acclimated the uh, angels and got them set situated in the uh, tank and uh, unfortunately it's the afternoon here and I still have some phone calls to make and I gotta get out and do a quick run to the supermarket so there's some food in this house because eating is always nice and um, you know get some other work done so that's all I got for you right now and uh, hope everybody's having a great week, and we'll see you soon.